Welcome back to Witness. The big Thanksgiving feast is just hours away and it's time for the annual rush to buy the holiday turkey. It's a community event that marks just how closely Cousins customers see their relationship with America's national holiday. Around the corner from Cousins Supermarket is Ferguson Elementary School, a public school attended by kids from Kensington, many of whom come from families living below the poverty line. Like children across the nation, these preschoolers have dressed up as pilgrims and Indians to reenact the story of the first Thanksgiving. Cousins has donated most of the food for their Thanksgiving feast. Today the children and myself and the other teacher have planned a family feast for our family members and our community and the children in the classroom. It's just important because family is so very important and it's an opportunity to celebrate it as well as for us to show the parents who work very diligently with us throughout the year some appreciation. It's also a fun time for the children because they have been cooking since last Wednesday um, with the pies, the baked macaroni and cheese, the stuffing, the turkeys, the candied yams. Um, so it's their opportunity to show their parents what they can do and the parents are always amazed that they're able to actually cook the food and participate in the actual event. We've been working with cousins probably for about the last two to three years. Um, they're always very generous when we go over. For the feast today, they donated three large turkeys that we were able to roast and share with the families and share with our children. Mr. Adib is the gentleman from Cousins who donated the turkeys today. So thank you. He's, like, he's very busy at Cousins, but he did take the time to come over and join us. Pero ellos piensan preparar un carro. Pasteles, un poco de pasteles, que es la, la comida tradicional de nosotros. Immigrants have always found ways to adapt to this culture while still maintaining some of their own traditions. They adopt Thanksgiving standards such as the turkey to sit alongside foods from their native countries. Pastelas are a Puerto Rican holiday specialty made of unripened green bananas. Here in Kensington, they've become a popular addition to the more traditional holiday menu. My grandmother, she would buy like a whole box of them and make pasteles. That's a traditional Spanish dish that we make. We only make it on the holidays. I like to take the short green bananas, but it's easier to cook. I just cut the tips, cut it right down. It doesn't matter where you cut them, just put it in a straight cut. Different types of roots, yuca, yautia, ñame, it all gets grated up and then you make this meat, it all gets sauteed, and then you wrap it in parchment paper and a banana leaf. The whole Thanksgiving dinner thing, theme of it is to get the family to help put the dinner together. The whole family pitches in, your aunt, your mom, your cousins, your friends. Americans of different backgrounds each prepare their own traditional specialties for Thanksgiving. But there's one dish that's found on every table. I'm going to have turkey, stuffing, gravy, rice, potato salad, yams, coleslaw, collard greens, string beans. I'm cooking turkey, ham, greens, chicken breast, roast, having family over. I think most people, whatever you are, either Hispanic or black or whatever your origins are, most people are eating a turkey. And that's part of being in this country, Thanksgiving is the turkey. We have your normal butterball turkey, and then we have uh, the Stewart brand turkey, and then we have halal turkeys. That's been like a growing trend over the past few years. We have a big Middle Eastern community, plus we have uh, African American Muslims. That's been pretty successful for us too, the halal turkeys. If you taste the halal turkeys, it tastes delicious. A whole turkey is the quintessential symbol of the American Thanksgiving, but it also happens to be one of the most expensive items in the supermarket. In this struggling neighborhood, not everyone can afford one. Because Thanksgiving is as much about community as it is about family, Adib makes sure that he reaches out to his neighbors by donating turkeys to local schools, churches, and mosques. Today, Adib is donating turkeys to another local school. In turn, the school's principal will discreetly distribute them to some of the neediest families. Something that they wouldn't ask for. Most of the time, we don't even tell them that we get them to them. We only tell them like a day before. This is a hardworking neighborhood. And we have our problems like any other neighborhood. But most of the time, uh, the community sticks together and we work through. We try to support everybody. I mean, you can't support the whole neighborhood, but you know, the organizations approach us and uh, you know they have donation requests, and we try to meet as many as possible. Thank you. 
The biggest challenges we have are keeping up with the demand of the customers. For the amount of product that's going to be moving through, you know, through the registers, we don't have sufficient space to actually store all that. Our warehouses are full and the freezers are full, so you're going to have to stock up and there's really nowhere to store it all. Boss man, big guy, you have a heavy cream? It's kind of hard, you know, the, the week leading up to Thanksgiving. Part of my family too, because I'm, you know, I'm not spending uh, quality time with my kids while I'm at work. But uh, we'll try to make it up on Thanksgiving Day, and, and hopefully it'll slow down after that. <laughs> I'd rather work on Thanksgiving. That way I'd have off on Christmas for my kids. Mary Waters is a mother of three who's been a cashier at Cousins for the last three years. I have an eight-year-old, a seven-year-old, and a five-year-old. And sometimes it's getting hard, but I, I move on. I wake up every morning, as long as they're happy, I'm happy. Even though we have bad days, we don't let our customers see that we have a bad day. I have a lot of regulars. If they don't see me in my line, they'll wait. They won't go to another line because I'm a friend. I'm a people's person. If they down, I make them happy. I'm the one that cheers them up. Oh, you don't feel like you're different here. Yeah. That's the point. You don't feel like you are in an Irish store or you are in a Mexican store or you are like in an Arabian store. When you come here, you don't find yourself that you are a stranger. You know, it's all like you're American and all from all world. It's the John here. You feel here yourself, it's like a family. Noor Maklis is an immigrant from Morocco. He says that shopping at Cousins for his Thanksgiving feast makes him feel a little bit more American. Uh, as American, it's, we have to, you know. <laughs> it's like, you know, tradition and everything. It's, it's sometimes that you have to learn for your kids and everything. This is America, and that's how, you know, American people get here. The Thanksgiving story remains alive in communities like Kensington, in part because of the new immigrants that embrace it as part of their American story. We celebrate Thanksgiving, and uh, my family has since day one that they've been in this country, so... Maybe they didn't understand it the first year, but uh, very traditional dinner. All the uh, siblings come, so it's a, it's a big event. American style, three turkeys, uh, stuffing, cranberry sauce, <laughs> no ham. <laughs> I look forward to it every year, and I like to do it like everybody else, watch football, go out and play with the kids, and um, just relax, you know what I mean? Don't eat too much before the turkey, just something very light and stuff myself till I can't move. I mean, it's pretty traditional. <laughs> As the day before Thanksgiving draws to a close, there's one more thing Adib does to make sure that there's a turkey on every table in the neighborhood. We give away maybe 20 or 30 turkeys. You know, we want to give back a little bit to the community, so if you're in here buying a turkey that day, we'll tell you to hold off and we might win one. Throughout the big day, Adib hands out numbered tickets. If the number on your ticket is called during the raffle, you win a free turkey for tomorrow's dinner. Every year we try to give away turkeys to needing families, and we did that with some donations, but at the same time we do the raffle. Thank you customers, we're having a raffle. Five minutes left. Put your hand in there. Turkey up. Five, five, one, one. Cinco, cinco, uno, uno. Five, five, one, one, it is. Give me a ticket. All right, congratulations. Happy Thanksgiving. Next ticket. Five, four, zero, seven. Five, two, two, one. Five, five, oh, seven. Fifty, two, sixty. Twenty-nine, come on up, honey.
As the last customers file into the checkout lanes, another hectic Thanksgiving season at Cousins draws to a close. Thank you for shopping at Cousins. This will be closing in 15 minutes. Have a good night. Tomorrow, Adib and his team at Cousins will do what most of their community and the nation will do. Enjoy a big family feast, American style. The story of Cousins, the supermarket at Thanksgiving. That's it for now. Thanks for watching and see you next time on Witness.